The City of Murfreesboro's Public Works Executive Director updated the City Council with road projects that are either under construction or ones that are scheduled. These are Tennessee Department of Transportation projects, City of Murfreesboro projects, or a combination. Obviously, these project timelines and start dates are affected by weather, money, right-of-way acquisitions, and permitting. They are subject to change at any time. Uh, this is our Braderville Pike uh, project. Uh, if you guys will remember, this is a 2.1 mile uh, widening from a two lane to a three lane road. Uh, really important here with the, uh, the sidewalks, bike lanes, and, uh, and also transit shelters. About 306,000, 307,000 locally with the, uh, the lines portion of it coming from the federal and state. And then we're scheduled to uh, start construction in 2022. Uh, Brinkley Road, uh, very similar project, rebuild that to a three-lane section with curb gutter, sidewalk, and that will also have a multi-use path. If you'll, if you'll remember, that serves most of the, um, uh, the Blackman School area. Uh, we've had quite a bit of development along that, uh, along that roadway. That is uh, funded uh, uh, entirely by, uh, by local funds, but through the, the, the um, city CIP uh, program with construction set to uh, to start sometime in 2021. Uh, these are back-to-back -back projects. Cherry Lane uh, Phase Two and Cherry Lane Phase Three will be the next one. This is the section that's funded locally. Uh, this is the first one that we uh, we kind of started there from the Seagull Soccer Fields out over to uh, to Sulphur Springs. As you can see, that 16.8 million dollars locally with the construction to start uh, 2021. Mm -hmm. And I'll skip on to, to Cherry Lane Phase 3. This is the one that does have federal uh, money um, attached to it, seven million, a little over $7 million total. Uh, that, that will be a five-lane road, includes an interchange at State Route 840. And again, we hope construction will start in 2021 for that project. Uh, the Gateway Boulevard extension is a new one. This will be a new three-lane road from Robert Rose Drive to, uh, to Gateway Boulevard. It is locally funded at a little less than uh, $2.5 million. Scheduled to start construction for uh, 2022 on it. Jones Boulevard, uh, this will be between West Clark and Medical Center Parkway. Um, of course, we'll be improving that to a three-lane curb and gutter section with a multi-use path and, and sidewalk. Uh, that project's locally funded, and we hope to start construction on it a little bit later this year. Uh, New Salem uh, Phase 1, this is the, um, uh, the section of New Salem between I-24 and Old Fort Parkway. Uh, it's about 1.35 miles, uh, widening that to a five-lane section. As you can see, uh, the state is uh, picking up most of the, uh, the, the funding for that. Um, and then the construction is, is scheduled to start in that 2021. <coughs> Phase two is the, uh, the project that's under construction now. Uh, there from I-24 back to Cason Lane, typical section, five lane typical section with sidewalks scheduled to, uh, to be completed by the, uh, by the end of the year. Phase three will start after phase, uh, phase one is complete, uh, and that'll go from uh, Cason Lane on out to, uh, to Veterans Parkway. Uh, about two and a half miles, uh, $23 million, and again, the, the state is uh, picking up most of, well, all of the funding for it. Rucker Lane, we're uh, getting ready to actually, uh, it's advertised for construction uh, right now. Um, it's uh, rebuilding Rucker Lane from State Route 96 to Veterans Parkway to a three lane section with uh, curb and gutter and sidewalks, about 2.4 miles. That's all locally f uh, funded. We're excited to get started on this project. It's been a uh, it's been a long time coming, and it's uh, probably one of the more requests we get from uh, from residents. Uh, Rutherford Boulevard extension, basically to extend Rutherford Boulevard as a new three lane road with a bridge over uh, I twenty four over to Warrior Drive. Uh, if you'll remember, one of the big problems that we're we're having is the uh, congestion at our intersect our interchanges. And so what we're trying to do here is just a straight bridge 
over the interstate help some of the residential areas trying to, uh, to gravitate towards downtown or in towards our industrial mm -hmm. areas. That project is currently uh, locally funded at $23.5 million uh, with construction uh, scheduled to start in 2023. Uh, Rutherford Boulevard signal improvements. This is, uh, this is a new project for us. It's, um, it's the uh, implementation of our adaptive signal control technology. It's basically, for lack of a better term, it's a smart signal system that learns as, uh, as traffic uh, progresses. Uh, we're in final plans with that, with the construction to start uh, later this year. Thompson Lane widening. Um, this project, along with Cherry Lane and probably our new Salem, is probably our, our three pr biggest, most important projects we've got going on now. These are really our volume meters. Um, it's to widen to five lanes, including the sidewalk and multi-use path uh, from Northwest Broad to Memorial. Uh, it's a little over four miles in length. Uh, you can see the state's picking up most of the, uh, the cost on that with uh, construction starting in 2023. Warrior Drive uh, Extension, it's a new project. Um, this is uh, some of the new uh, development. Uh, some of, uh, we're working with the, uh, with the SIA uh, grant funding from TDOT. Uh, it also includes some improvements there at the intersection of, uh, of Warrior and, and New Salem as well. Hope to start construction a little bit later this year. And just the last slide there, just to, just to kind of give you a uh, overview of our funding sources. Uh, as you can see, about 58% of our projects are currently being funded through the state or federal means. Now, if it's federally funded, that could be uh, the part of that's money that's earmarked for city of Murfreesboro, and we're just choosing to use uh, that, that federal money uh, towards those projects uh, with about, uh, what is that, about 42% um, of it being funded locally. And we're just kind of giving you a chart there on to the right just to uh, see when the projects will are scheduled to roll out for construction.